Here is an exam style question on modulus function, natural log and exponential problem. Figure 2 shows a sketch of the curve with the equation y equal modulus 2 minus 4 ln x plus 1, where x is more than k, where k is a constant. Given that the curve has an asymptote at x equal k, here is the asymptote, cuts the y-axis at point A, here is point A, meets the x-axis at point B, here is point B, as shown in figure 2. Part A, state the value of K. Please pause the video, have a go at Part A and then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to Part A. Now, to work out the value of K, we need to go back to what's inside the natural log. We can't take ln of 0 and we can't take ln of a negative. So over here, the X plus 1, we have to set it more than 0. So if I solve this inequality, I get X is more than minus 1. So in the question, we are told that x is more than k. Hence, now if we compare, we can see that k has to equal minus 1. Let's have a look at part b of the question. Part 1, find the y-coordinate of a. Part 2, find the exact x-coordinate of b. Please pause the video, have a go at part b, part 1 and 2, and then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution. Part b, part 1. So at a x is equal 0 because we have a y-intercept so we substitute x equals 0 back into the y equation so I've got y equal modulus 2 minus 4 ln x plus 1 so 0 plus 1 which is just 1 okay so if I put this into my calculator I get that ln 1 is 0 so 4 times 0 is just 0 2 take away 0 is just 2 so we've got the modulus of 2 and the modulus of 2 is just 2. So the exact y coordinate of a is y is equal 2. Let's have a look at part 2 of the question. Uh, find the exact x coordinate of b. So at b we have an x intercept so y is equal 0. So I can take this modulus set it equal 0. This leads on to two equations, one which is the standard equation and the second equation square bracket put a negative at the front equal zero. But if I divide by negative one, it takes me back to equation one. So these two equations are equivalent, so I can simply solve equation one. I've got 2 minus 4 ln x plus 1 equal to 0. Take the 2 to the right hand side. Divide by negative 4. Apply e on both sides. e takes everything to its power. So e and ln cancel. We've got x plus 1 is equal e to the power of half. Hence, x is equal e to the power of half minus 1. That is the exact x coordinate of b. Okay, let's have a look at part c. Using algebra and showing your working, find the set of values of x such that the modulus of 2 minus 4 ln x plus 1 has to be more than 3. Please pause the video, have a go at part c and then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part c. Okay, so in part C, we have a modulus inequality. We need to set up two inequalities. Here is my first inequality. Remove the modulus. Set it greater than 3. Second inequality. Put a square bracket around the expression. 2 minus 4 ln x plus 1. Stick a negative at the front. Set it more than 3. Solve them individually. Let's start off with inequality number 1. I've got minus 4 ln x plus 1 is greater than 1. Divide by negative 4. When you divide by negative, the inequality will flip, so it will become less than in this scenario. Minus 1 over 4. Apply e on both sides. e takes everything to its power. The E and LN cancel. Take the 1 to the right hand side. 
And this is what I get. Moving on to the second inequality, begin by dividing by negative 1. This will flip the inequality. Then take the 2 to the right hand side. So minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5. Divide by the negative 4. This will flip the inequality, so we've got more than 5 over 4. Apply E on both sides. E and Ln cancel. Take the 1 to the right hand side. And that is the solution. Now if I put this into my calculator, this number is 0 0.286 dot dot dot. And if I put this into my calculator, this number is 1.284 dot dot dot. Okay, I'm going to represent these two inequalities on a number line. So here is my number line representing x. So the smaller value, which is this value here, I can label it here. So e to the power minus a quarter minus 1. And the larger value, which is this one here, I can label it here. Okay, so e to the power 5 over 4 minus 1. So we want x to be less than e to the power minus a quarter minus 1. This is the representation. And over here we want x to be more than e to the power 5 over 4 minus 1. This is the representation. Okay, so there's no overlap. So we can write down that x has to be less than e to the power minus a quarter minus 1. Or, we can't put and, it has to be or. So or, x is more than e to the power 5 over 4 minus 1. Let's look at the or. If you were to put and, you can't have a number which is less than this and also more than this. So it won't make sense. You must put or. Right, we need to write this in set notation. So this one here in set notation. X is an element of the real number set such that we have the restriction X is less than E to the power minus a quarter minus 1. For the or, you put union. X is an element of the real number set such that we have the restriction X is more than E to the power 5 over 4, take away 1. That is the final answer in set notation. This completes the teaching video. If you found it useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.